zippity doo beautiful day, great to be alive. Hey, what's up everyone, this is Chris Brown here again. Now as you can see, I'm still hanging out here at the Yacht Beach Club here in Walt Disney World. Now that you're aware of this governmental stimulus program, I wanna share with you a bonus video. This is the Oprah of the Oprah Winfrey Show, where she interviewed a gentleman by the name of Paul Rogers, who was a fireman. And at the fire department, he was making about $48,000 a year. But because of this governmental stimulus program, he was able to add an extra $300 per month added onto his paycheck from his job at the fire department, all because of this governmental stimulus program. So he got to keep an extra $300 per month because less taxes were taken out. Now, when attempting to become self-sufficient, so many times people look at this income as, it's, it's, this is what's gonna help them to get wealthy. This is what it's gonna help them to get rich. So as you're gonna see in this video, you don't really need as much money as you think you need. Let's say when it comes down to retirement, so many times people say, I need this big old nest egg, and you don't really need as much money as you think. As all that you need is more money coming in through your different investments than what is going out. So as you're gonna see with the case of Paul Rogers, Paul Rogers, again, was making about $48,000 a year at his job at the fire department. Now, because of this governmental stimulus program, he was able to add an extra $300 per month added on to his paycheck from his job at the fire department. Now, he was also bringing in some income because he was attempting to become self-sufficient and he was successful with it, at least moderately successful with it. So he took the income that he was making from these new ventures and put them into different type of investments in which he was making $100,000 a year. So many times people think that the money that we make from our jobs or uh, maybe if you have a business or things of that sort, many people think that that money that we generate there, we're going to use that to pay our bills and that's not what we're going to do with it at all. So again, you're working hard to create some cash flow, working hard to create money. And again, you normally use that to pay for your bills. But what that actually is, is cash flow. We take that cash flow and we put that into different type of investments. And through those investments, that investments is what you're gonna to use to pay for your bills and to provide for your family. Your job and the income that you're generating, this is money to put into different type of investments. The problem is that most people have not really been taught what to do with their money. You don't work for money, you work for cash. And with that cash, you put that into different investments. And that cash that you put into different investments produces you money, and that money is what you use to provide for your family. Now we all have friends, families, hobbies, things that we'd rather do than working, right? But we need to have the money and we have to have the time freedom to be able to do those things. Now I hope you enjoy this clip with Oprah and Paul Rogers. One more thing, stay healthy, have a great day, I'm glad I could help you, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye now.